This week, I've got a fantastic new way to get rid of household flies. Weirdly, it just uses ordinary common or garden table salt to kill them. But does it work? I guess for most people living in the more northern latitudes, other than perhaps butchers and mass murderers, flies are a relatively infrequent problem. But my god, it's annoying when there's one buzzing around when you're trying to concentrate on something. Where the bloody hell is it? Now, there are a few different ways of dealing with them. You can use a spray, like this one, and fill the room with pyrethroids. <laughs> now, as far as insecticides go, pyrethroids are pretty safe in humans but not so good if you're a fish or a honeybee. Alternatively, if you don't want to cause any collateral damage, you can use flypaper. Or you could use a swatter like this telescopic number I found on Amazon the other day. Or if you want something a little bit more high tech, you could even go for an electric swatter like this one. Now, this one even has its own LED flashlight, which, according to the instructions, look, it says LED flashlight for eliminating pests in the dark. Eliminating pests in the dark, is that something a lot of people do? Either way, swatters of all sorts carry the risk of yet more collateral damage as you try and get that fly that landed on your priceless Ming Dynasty vase, particularly if you're using your electric fly swatter to eliminate pests in the dark. On top of that, these things are no good for getting into small crannies or small window panes. But now there's a new solution. And here it is. It's the Bug Assault 3.0, non-toxic bug killing device. It's an assault rifle which fires salt. I think they probably should have called this thing a salt rifle for bugs rather than the Bug Assault. But anyway, I digress. It does have some interesting fly facts on the back. Did you know, for example, that the housefly carries all sorts of nice diseases? Typhoid fever, a bit of dysentery, anyone? Uh, TB, bubonic plague, and leprosy, to name but a few. And did you know that houseflies typically stay within one to two miles of their place of birth? But they can go as far as 20 miles in search of a nice juicy bit of excrement or a dead sheep. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought whilst I prepare the bug assault for action. There we go. Just take this label off the top. Oh, and that's where the salt goes. Just open it up there. There's some salt I prepared earlier. There we go, just a little bit of salt. That's apparently enough for, I think, 50 shots. Now this thing uh, can use just the normal patronage site down the uh, middle, or you can buy the Bug Assault Bug Beam, uh, which is a laser site, which I'm gonna use. So let's go and do some bug hunting. Oh my God, that's got a hell of a kick. And look, it even freezes time. Keanu, eat your heart out. I always knew they got the wrong man for the lead part in The Matrix. Incidentally, thanks to Boris FX for the use of its fantastic special effects software, which alongside my Kessler motion control system was how I managed to pull off my homage to The Matrix. Now, I had planned to demonstrate this thing by shooting a few flies. But the slight problem is that well, there's never a fly around when you want one. So for the purposes of testing, I've ordered some stunt flies, which arrived this morning. Now, they're not as big as your normal house fly, but they'll do for the purpose of this film. So here we go. 
I'm going to film it on here. And we'll get one of these out. And then give it everything I've got. Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, there's one. Oh. Well, he's on his back, so he's a bit of an easy target. I don't think I'm going to need to go to sniper school for this one. But here goes. Line up the shot and got him. So there we go. It really does work, this thing. And the laser sight works really well, too. It's a must-have upgrade, particularly if you're shooting from a couple of feet away. Anyway, who'd have thought that you could kill a fly with just a little bit of household salt? Now, a few people that I've shown this thing to remarked that they didn't much like the idea of spraying salt around the house. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's only a very small amount. Look, I probably shed more dandruff than that in an afternoon. One other thing, do treat this thing with a little bit of care. If you shoot someone close up, well, it does just sting a little bit. But I suspect that if you've got someone in the eye at close range, it could do some proper damage. So all in all, I think this is a great bit of kit. Very effective, insecticide free and lots of fun. So if you know any butchers or serial killers or anyone else with a fly problem, you might like to share this film. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.